I'm Soleil, founder of Bebonia. We're gonna review a YouTuber clipping in her Bebonia curly hair extensions. While reviewing the videos, I'm gonna let you guys know what they could have done differently so that you guys can learn from it and use these tips to blend your extensions super well with your natural hair. She is about to clip in a chestnut set. She did like such a wonderful job at first styling the extensions before clipping them in. So they really do look very close to her natural curl pattern. So she killed it in that sense. She also matched the color with the ends of her hair. So as you can see, her roots are a bit darker and then her ends are more of a chestnut color. So she did such a good job at matching the color. Let's see what she does when clipping them in. Okay, the first thing that I'm noticing that she is not doing is that she's facing a wall without a mirror. So using a mirror is key because you have to see what you're doing. You have to see where you're clipping them in. You have to occasionally use even two mirrors to check out what the back looks like. Otherwise, you're going blind and it might look like a hot mess when you're done. Okay, then she starts off by making a separation a bit too high. She could have flipped over her head, clipped in the first piece upside down. So that makes a major difference because it does help blend the extensions in with, the, with your bottom hair and it helps prevent them from popping out forward in the front, your natural hair. So that's like a big one. I also noticed that her separation, the line isn't as straight. So a way for you to get a straight line is to just use both of your index fingers and meet them together. You, you know, don't be shy with it. Go in there and try to make as straight of a line as possible. That is super important because it helps you feel more comfortable once you clip them in and it also helps you create better separations when you're clipping in the rest of the webs. Another note is that she started so high. She started from like the middle of her head and as you can see, she already has some length to her. So she would have started clipping them in a little lower. It would have given her even more length, which is what I think she's ultimately trying to get out of this. In this section, I noticed that she's starting to clip them in and she's starting from this section of her head and clipping in what seems to be like four clip weft. If you're in this temple region, clip them closer to the front of the frame of your face. So that is gonna help you, especially if you have some layers, it's gonna help blend in the front. Uh, and then she, so she started too far back and then she did the same on the other side. So basically she's not giving herself enough hair in the front. Now I can see this big, beautiful, chunky curl on the back of her hair. Just make sure you guys separate your curls. Uh, you've styled the extensions, you wanna separate them so that it blends with your natural hair because our, typically once you style your hair and you're wearing it out, the curls are more separate. They're not this chunky, these chunky barrels. Okay, this is the perfect example of why it's important to try your best to make a straight line and to clip on the weft on that line. So she created a line and then she clipped in the weft way lower than that line. So if she, that's gonna cause for her not to have, like not to be able to move that hair around freely. So think about it, if I make a separation here and then I clip in the, the weft all the way down here, then this portion of the hair is stuck under. It's like you're clipping it down. So try your best to not do that. So once you create the, again, once you create the separation, you clip on the weft right on that line. I still think her after results look so beautiful. She didn't even clip in the full set of extensions. She looks great. And I know that after clipping them in several times, she's gonna definitely get the hang of it. Just do make sure that you guys use a mirror and uh, take notes and practice and play with the placement of the extensions because we're not all created equal and especially if you have multiple textures in your hair. So that's it. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and that it was very helpful and you can learn from it. Please let us know if you have anything that you would want us to make a video about or if you have any questions regarding clipping in the extensions or how to make them look super, super natural when you are wearing them. Make sure to subscribe to our channel.